Packages are collections of named items that can be reused across multiple designs within the same work library. So um, we'll just finish discussing configurations, which are mostly useful for uh, larger designs or for moving designs between different design teams. Now we will discuss packages, and packages are actually extremely useful. They are um, something that you should use as much as possible because they just make the code a lot easier to deal with. Um, they can be useful in small code or in moderately sized code, and they are definitely useful in larger code. So what is a package? A package is a collection of uh, named items like types, subtypes, functions, procedures, constants, uh, components, attributes, files, and so on. So um, they can be used to centralize the location where any of these things are declared. And that helps a lot if you're going to use these uh, named items across multiple designs. That's, for example, uh, uh, consider the case of a uh, user-defined type. For example, here we have a um, uh, an enumeration type that is used uh, to enumerate state machines. And let's imagine that in uh, your work library, you have multiple state machines, each of which uses this uh, user-defined type. You actually reuse this user-defined type so much that you have gotten used to using it. Uh, so instead of having to define the user defined type uh, in every single file where you use it, you can actually define it once in the package, in a package. And then if you declare the use of this package in any file, then this uh, data type becomes available. So this is the syntax of a, a package in general. Uh, the keyword package is used after which the name of the package is indicated and then is. And between is and the uh, end package name uh, statement, you can have a list of declarations of all the named entities that I talked about, the named uh, uh, things that I talked about. So you can have a constant, and let's just assume that this constant is used a lot. For example, you're designing a processor and its bus width is uh, 16, and you just want to define it in a central, a single central location and reuse it multiple times, then you should do it in a package. Uh, we already talked about how types can be used in packages, uh, but one of the most um, you know, useful uh, uses for a package is to de 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 define components. And so when we talked about structural design using VHDL, we discussed how in a design, if you're gonna use another design as a building block, you have to declare it as a component between the architecture statement and the begin statement. So in the architecture declaration uh, part, you have to declare um, any component that you will be using. So uh, you have a list of components uh, here, and uh, basically the component statement is gonna be a restatement of the entity uh, with the keyword entity replaced with the keyword component. What often happens is if you go and make a, a change to the entity full adder, for example, full add, and that change affects one of the ports, uh, which often happens in terms of the size of the ports, for example, then because this entity was used as a component in multiple other designs, you have to go to each and every one of these designs and change the component declaration in each and every one of these designs. And you have to remember which designs use this as a component in order to go and do this change. Otherwise, you'll get an error. On the other hand, if you declare the component in a package, and then in any design where you will be using this component, you declare the use of this package, then uh, you can make the change in a single location, which is in the package. And this change will affect any, anywhere or any other design that uses this component. Um, and so another use for packages, uh, which is uh, really helpful, is to use them to declare functions, uh, specifically functions that are used a lot. So if you have a user-defined function that you use uh, very often across multiple uh, designs, then it's best to declare it in a package. 
because otherwise you will have to declare it in the architecture declaration part of each of the designs that use it. And if you want to make a change to it, again, you'll have to go and make the change individually to each of these designs. Whereas if you declare it in a package, you can make the changes in a central location. So packages are really, really useful. The uh, one question we have is, uh, once you have declared this package, let's just uh, talk about the MySynth package, for example. Once you have declared it, uh, how can you use it? How can you use it in another design? And use it using the use statement, which we already we have already used with IEEE packages, um, the predefined packages from the IEEE library. But it's the same statement here. So uh, we use uh, the uh, syntax use. And for IEEE, we would use IEEE dot package name. Here, the library where this package will reside once it is compiled is the work library. So it's use work dot. And then uh, we indicate the name of the package, my synth package. And if you want to use everything in the package, if you want to make everything in the package available, you just say dot all. If you want to use something specific from it, then you say dot and the name of the something specific you will be using. So when you declare the use of an, a package, all of the package in a design, this doesn't really affect resource usage unless you, you actually call something from the design. So let's assume that you uh, declare the use of all of this package in a design, but you don't actually instantiate any instances of full add. Then it has no impact. That part of the package has no impact on the design. If you declare it and you don't use this data type, then it has no impact. And so in general, there's no disadvantage. There's no real disadvantage to uh, declaring the use of an entire package because only, only the parts that you will actually exercise within your design will have an impact on resource usage. So are packages synthesizable or not? Um, the answer is a package is synthesizable if all of its uh, uh, components, if all of its uh, constituents are synthesizable. And so it's generally useful to uh, split your packages into synthesizable packages and unsynthesizable packages, where the unsynthesizable packages perhaps contain functions and procedures uh, that you want to use in the test bench only, but are not intended for units that will be, uh, that will be synthesized. Uh, one last thing is that packages are sometimes declared using a package declaration section and a package body section. So in the uh, example on top, we just had the package declared in one big whole, you know, uh, block. So this block was the declaration and the body of the package are all in one. But sometimes you first declare the uh, package and its existence, and then you declare a package body. You can separate the package in uh, into a package declaration and a package body. Uh, by the way, packages are uh, preferably written in independent files. Once they have been compiled to library, they are available to use in any other design within the library. So packages which have bodies will declare the existence of the package and its name and must also declare anything that exists within the package. So all the constants, components, and so on. Uh, it has to declare their existence, but some things can be relegated to the, uh, to the uh, body of the uh, package. For example, here we declare the existence of a constant, but we can relegate the value of the constant to the body of the package. We declare that the package contains a function called linear combine, which has uh, the following arguments and the following return value, but the body and the definition of the function can be relegated to the body of the package.